So we have developed a series of image processing methods that allow to map the brain connectivity as a whole, that is to study how the white matter is organized to connect one region with the others. With our colleagues, the mathematicians, uh, computer scientists, neuroscientists, uh, physicians and engineers, we have developed a series of steps that take those data and go from those data through the very end, the analysis of the brain connectivity. So a map of the brain connectivity like a network. And this is what we do by diffusion MRI. There are special types of, of magnetic resonance sequences that allow to measure these diffusion properties of the water molecule in the white matter of the brain. It's the only way to analyze the brain connectivity and especially the structural brain connectivity in real patients or subjects, so in vivo, individually and non-invasively. So today it has been used internally with our local hospitals here in Geneva and Lausanne and also with our colleagues in Boston. But in the very near future, by the end of this year, beginning of next year, the package will be released as an open source and free software that will be downloadable by everybody in the world. These tools allowed us to apply it to a certain number of questions, and neuroscientific questions. The very first ones were uh, how we can uh, use this tool to investigate pathologies like schizophrenia and also epilepsy. These are two very big projects that we have to use this tool to study the brain connectivity uh, and how it is affected by pathologies like those ones. And then we have recently also used that to study the development of the brain as a maturation process from childhood to adulthood. And this is a very recent work that we have done with our colleagues in Boston at the Harvard Medical School.